The NMSU men's basketball team has found a new temporary home in the Grand Canyon State. ABC7 Sports Director Adrian Ochoa joins us live with those details. Adrian. Yeah, Eric, both the men and women's team at NMSU have been unable to practice due to current COVID-19 restrictions in the state of New Mexico. So the men's team is moving across state lines to Phoenix. And video you'll see only on ABC7 from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. It shows the team, along with NMSU head coach Chris Jans, boarding a bus bound for Phoenix. Now, it will be their home for at least the next five weeks. And let me show you where the team will be staying and also practicing. It's the Arizona Grand Resort and Spa. NMSU says they are getting some services free of charge, but the cost of the rooms, training facilities, and COVID-19 testing is estimated at $78,000. Now, a ballroom at that resort will be converted into a basketball court. NMSU is getting help from the Arizona Sports and Entertainment Commission, who made it all, all possible. Now, the resort will only be used for practices. NMSU is currently working on finding a venue in the Phoenix area to host games. For NMSU Athletic Director Mario Mocha, it was so important for him to make sure his student athletes it's got to compete this year and, you know and you guys might think this is kind of corny but when you promise a student athlete a kid and his parents you're going to provide opportunities for them and then it looks like you can't um excuse me that takes a toll and i'm just really really happy that uh, <clears throat> they're going to get this opportunity. As for the NMSU women's team, Mocha says they'll be training in Tucson, but then coming back to Las Cruces, where they'll then have to quarantine for 14 days due to state regulations. Coming up in sports, now that NMSU has found a temporary home, we will see how that will affect the Battle of I-10 this year. We'll hear from UTEP head coach Rodney Terry in sports, as well as a look at the UTEP's basketball schedule that was also released today. So